Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the MIDI track recording modes or overdub and replace in Reaper. I have a project set up here with a MIDI piano ready to go. And it sounds like this. And if we want to record this piano, just go to the record button. And if we record again on top of it, by default, Reap is going to create takes. So we could switch between each take, either by clicking on it or by hitting the T key. When we find the best take, just select it, right click, go to take, crop to active take. And that removes the unwanted takes. This is the default mode in Reaper, but we can change it in the options menu under new recording that overlaps existing items and just change it from the default that creates takes to tape mode, which is going to trim our items or record over them, like this. So it replaces the previous recording, but there's a few other recording modes just for MIDI. Let's undo this. Let's go to our track right over here, and we can see the track recording modes. By default, Reap is going to record the input, whether it be audio or MIDI, but we could also choose these MIDI, overdub, or replace modes. Let's start off with the first one, MIDI overdub. And this is going to allow us to record into a MIDI item without erasing what's already there. So let's record a piano part in two passes, making it easier to play. And if we go back into record, we can overdub into this item. It's not going to create takes, and it's not going to replace anything or create new items. It's going to record into this item or overdub our first part. And now both parts are in this one item. And we can keep going, adding as many parts or passes as we want. This will be easier to show you if we create a loop. So let's delete this and create a loop from bar one to bar five. And now in this mode, we can record multiple passes to create a part. Let's start off with the bass part, then the chords, then the melody. And again, we're doing this in MIDI overdub replace mode. But let's first turn on input quantize right over here so it'll quantize on the way in.
And just like that, we perform three parts in three passes to create a melody, some chords, and a bass line. And to put them all in one item. So it didn't create takes or add new items to our project, keeping it nice and simple. But there's a few other modes we could use. The next mode is called MIDI Replace. And that's going to replace any section we punch in. So if we punch in on bar two, it's going to replace the notes in that section. And if we punch out, it keeps those notes afterwards. But we could use this if we auto punch on this track. So let's create a time selection from bar two to bar three. Let's punch in that section in this mode, MIDI replace mode. Let's turn on time selection auto punch. And let's punch in right here. And it just punched in for this bar. And it replaced the MIDI notes in that section. But we could still overdub afterwards by switching it back to MIDI overdub. Now there's a few other modes to check out. The next mode is called MIDI Touch Replace. That's going to replace our notes when we touch our keyboard. And it'll punch out when we don't. So let's choose this. Let's get rid of our time selection. And instead of punching in, we'll just record the whole time. And when I play the keyboard, it'll punch in. And when I stop playing the keyboard, it'll punch out. And let's replace bar two. As soon as I stopped playing, it stopped recording. It just recorded this bar. And again, we can go back to overdub to add in that melody. But there's still one other mode to check out. MIDI latch replace. That's a bit different from touch, as it's not going to punch out afterwards. As soon as we start playing, it's going to start recording, but it's going to keep recording until we hit stop or come out of record. Let's play at bar two again in this mode. And even though I stopped playing at bar three, it still keeps recording anyway, because it punches in when we start playing in this mode, but it doesn't punch out. And that's MIDI latch replace, which is really useful if you're not sure where you want to punch in. So you want to play it back and just start playing when you're ready. And then it won't punch out so you can play the rest of the song. But if you want it to punch out, Choose MIDI Touch Replace. And then it'll punch out when you stop playing. Now these modes are also helpful for programming drums. Let's add a drum machine right here. Let's record a drum part where we layer different parts on different passes. We'll go to the track Record Modes and switch it to MIDI Overdub. So we can record multiple passes without punching out.
Now let's say we want to add a 16th note to the hi-hat. We can still add that in MIDI overdub mode. Or we can replace one section by switching it to MIDI replace and time selection auto punch. I think you get the idea. That's MIDI track recording modes, overdub replace in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.